Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. And this evening's video is going to be a Matchbox, a bit of a Matchbox showcase. We've got a Matchbox, a uh, new Matchbox 9-pack, uh, recently out, as far as I'm aware of, to, to have a look at. And then we've got a Matchbox Fire Rescue 5-pack to look at afterwards, which has been out for a couple of months now, I think. I have already opened them once because, uh, again, I had some technical diff difficulties on my phone earlier um, where it likes to just randomly stop recording and I don't realise it stopped recording because I'm too busy looking at the cars. But anyway, that being said, it will make them easy to open. So we'll get straight into it and we'll go and have a look at the five pack first, being the fact that it's smaller. So we'll just turn it this way. So as you can see, it's the Matchbox five pack is the... MBX Fire Rescue, and three of them are licensed castings, and two are Matchbox Generic. So we'll pop it open, and we'll look at the Freightliner first. Let's pop the camera down a bit, and there it is. So this is the Freightliner M20, sorry, 106 Fire Tanker which I think is pretty cool. So it's very, very nicely done on the side. As you see, all graphics on the side there are done nice. You've got some pipe detail there. Big dog dish hubcaps, but no rear detail and no front detail. But nonetheless, it is done nicely on the side. And this is a newer Freightliner. I thought at first, when I first got the pack, that it was an older um tanker to start with but then i realized it's actually a newer freight liner it looks like it's a 2013 shaped freight liner because i've got a large a larger scale much more detailed model of the freight liner which is very similar to this but that being said so it says freight liner business class m2106 so that is the start and then number two of the five pack would be the Crown Victoria or I want to a quick look Ford yeah 2006 Ford Crown Victoria but it says on the side of the box that it is the police for police interceptor but anyway and again very cool in red I quite like collecting police cars and fire and fire um, fire rescue cars and emergency vehicles but this is done pretty well it's lights are part of the windscreen and they look like they've gone to some little effort to try and give you a little bit of light detail which is pretty cool but again no front and rear tampos but the side's done quite nice so that is the crown victoria and it is let's have a look copyright date 2005 so number two number three is the 2015 ram 1500 which is pretty cool. This one's got a little bit more weight to it, but the tampos are done very, very nicely, as you can see. Yeah, very, very cool. Unit 31. But yeah, very, very cool. And again, no rear lights, no front lights, but still it is done very, very nicely. So that is number three. And then it's time for the last two, which will be the generic castings and this one's just the matchbox ambulance i believe which has die cast top and plastic back and again the same no front or back tampos but still is pretty cool and you've got some got a little window there so that's the second first second to last and then the last one will be this which is the actual fire truck which is pretty cool so again all done nicely on the side it does have a up and down ladder which doesn't swivel and that is a 2005 copyright but anyway so that was the five pack with the two last ones being the generic custom casting sorry so we'll just move them out, out of the way for a second and then we'll get into the nine pack in a second, just making some room. And then we'll have a quick look 
have the nine packs. Let's bring the cap a little bit. So you can see, got Audi R8, got a helicopter. But we'll just get straight into it. So the, we'll start with the exclusive first, which I believe is a Toyota Tacoma. Let me get it out. <clears throat> which is pretty cool. So you've got, again, got some nice side graphics going on. Got Tacoma on the side, Beach Patrol, Lifeguard. The rear lights are pretty much tampoed in. Again, not quite all the way around. You've got some pretty cool stuff on the back. It looks like a toolbox. Probably some oxygen, oxygen there. Surfboard. One of them little... I don't know what's quite they call them what they call them, but I know the lifeguards and usually in America or, or Australia for that matter usually hold these and run in sort of like a safety float. But pretty, pretty cool nonetheless. So that is the Toyota Tacoma 2013 copyright. So that is the exclusive. So we'll just push that to the back. And the second one I do believe is a Chevy Caprice. So it's what you've got on the side here. We've got uh, police something. And it's got a taxi badge there. Uh, so it's like a mixture of a police car and a taxi, which is quite unusual. But again, pretty cool car to have. So it's the 94 Chevy Caprice Classic Police. So that was number two, and again, you've got some pretty cool details. You can see you've got like a little onboard computer there. But anyway, so that's number two. And then the third one is the main reason why I picked it up. And it is the Chevy Corvette, which is pretty cool in this red. Got the T-top there, flames down the side, a little bit of paint defect there but still nonetheless it's still pretty cool got side pipes now i have an older casting that's very similar to this which is this one as you can see they're, they're the same car so that means <coughs> excuse me i believe this is from the late 60s is in the actual real car i think it's like a 69 possibly a 70 chevy corvette but this is this particular one is from 1992. So let's have a look. Got, uh, what is it? You can see. Uh, that's all right. Look off camera. Just says copyright 1979. But the actual, like I said, I think this is a later 60s, early 70s uh, Corvette. But I know this, this one is from 1992. See? So that's that one. And it's got obviously got like suspension and sort of real rider type wheels going on on this particular version and then this is the new version which again is, is pretty cool but uh, they are very very similar but anyway it's nothing me rambling on about that so that is number three uh, yes yeah, number three uh number four is going to be the volvo v60 i believe in red there is the volvo v60 in red Again, another little paint defect. None of the matter, no, no problem. But very nicely done. Tampoed front, tampoed lights. Nice to see. Tampoed rear. So that is the Volvo V60. V60 2015 copyright. So that's pretty cool. So that's number four. And my least favourite, I would have thought, is this Polaris. Which is, you either like them or you don't. But good utility vehicle for farms and just for out and out fun. But like I said, they are not my cup of tea to collect. But still, it is the Polaris RZR 2019 copyright. But again, pretty cool. Just not my, my thing. Uh, number six is going to be the Aston Martin... So we'll look, Aston Martin DBR1 in this light silver colour with the red interior. You've got some seatbelt details. 
pretty cool. You've got some pedals, throttle, clutch, and brake. They've tampoed the rear in, which is a nice little extra detail. And I do have one from the Matchbox Maverick Top Gun uh, five pack, which I think is better. I, I prefer it in this color green, but the same sort of thing. You've got the same pedal setup and belt detail. But unfortunately, they didn't really tamper the rear end. But still, nonetheless, it is pretty cool. So there's two different sorts or colours. So that's number six. Sorry, catch the camera. And then number seven. This is a cool casting. This is the uh, Audi Audi R8 in graphite grey. Some engine detail going on there. But very very nicely done so that's the audi r8 uh, let's have a look 2007 audi r8 2019 copyright so it's not that old a casting and uh, let's find something with the same sort of wheels on so wheels are pretty cool basically the same as this just blacked out with the chrome ring rather than the full chrome which is nice so that is a nice detail but then again you wouldn't have i would have thought all chrome wheels on this anyway but still it's a nice detail so that's a pretty cool pretty cool car so that is that and car i really am cat handed today and second to last is the matchbox that's a little fire rescue helicopter so again not my particular collecting thing but still it is nicely nicely done the tampos are very crisp and shiny and clear, which is nice. And so look, on this side again, you've got a, what looks like a sliding door with a little blacked out handle, which is quite a nice touch. And it says 2001 and it is helicopter. It doesn't lie, it says rescue helicopter. So that is the rescue helicopter. And then last is going to be I can get hold of it another Dodge Ram so it says road maintenance matchbox city matchbox and it is in the like a lime or oh, sorry lime lemon yellow color but again quite a plain casting plastic back no rear details no front details but not too bad uh, it just says 2016 Ram flatbed and again, I have another variation or another colour. Exactly the same casting, just in the blue with the cargo livery on the side. But very, very cool nonetheless. So that is it today. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a longer video. Um, not too bad. Quite happy with both um, packs I picked up today. And again, like I said, it's really cool. We've gone from having no matchbox whatsoever to all of a sudden there being plenty. So I am quite happy because I'm quite happy. Anyone knows this channel knows that I like Matchbox. So it is a win-win. But anyway, that being said, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. And uh, I will, I know I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I will get some, um, my restoration video, I will upload it. I've just been so carried away with all the Matchbox and Going out diecast hunting and actually finding some stuff for once has been just it's just been too good. But anyway, that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.